so guys i'll not be separating the challenges and the assumptions i'll just basically talk and tell you i'll just give you the tea yeah <laughs> How you doing? What do you think of my what do you think of my new look? Like yeah, I know it makes me look a bit older, but I kinda like it. I feel like it goes with the vibe that the vibe in this video. So as the title suggests, I'm going to be redoing one of the videos that I've done, yeah? Assumptions about interracial couples. This time it will be stroke dating older guys, okay? So because I, I wanna redo this video because I feel like wait yeah so i want to redo this video because i feel like i didn't give it the mm, fear like the first video was like mm, i'm still in my cocoon but i feel like it should be given the confidence you know like it should be spoken out like nicely clearly out there just put it out there as it is so yeah that's it oh i didn't mention this wig um was inspired by zari let me just call her zari because oh my god girl your instagram name is so hard to pronounce okay your first instagram name is so hard to pronounce so this was inspired by her and it was only 200 shilling yani two dollars two dollars you don't have to wear your expensive wig every single time it's a bit it's a bit you know, Kastab C2 TV, K123. So I said, let me do this vlog with it and let me see. So, you guys, please comment down below and let me know what you think about. First of all, let's cheers for you guys showing me tremendous support on growing on my channel. Thank you. Like, I don't take it for granted. Without you, I can't be here. So, I want to actually just appreciate you. 100 thank you thank you thank you and if you're watching me and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so i give a bit of lifestyle travel and food <laughs> so guys feel free to comment on anything on all my videos share them like them dislike them you name it just do you just feel free to just um bring the interaction on my page okay so we are still on the road to a thousand subscribers guys i'm waiting to get there because it's going to be big so kindly show me some love by hitting this red button here and let's go so on some part of this video i'm going to appear in braids whereby i had started shooting this video but i felt the need to just bring a bit of interaction like go to my instagram page which is right here if you haven't followed me kindly go and follow me so i i, I decided to bring a participation on this vlog whereby that's why half of it i'm going to be in braids and half of this i'm going to be just like this so no i'm going to start with what i found out on myself or some of it is going to be based on maybe what i have experienced as an individual what i've seen my friends experience and on i'm going to answer the questions that you guys asked me on instagram so but before i get to my first assumption let's do it like this there's dating an older man and there's having a sponsor are we clear metega maskio aya what i die aya so let's first differentiate this and let's clarify this before i give you my first assumptions about interracial couple or you know the biggest assumption let's clarify this there's a difference between a sponsor and dating an older guy okay so dating you hear what i'm saying dating and sponsor let's go to google sponsor meaning from the oxford diction it says a person or an organization that pays or contributes to the cost involved in staging anything okay I ah, yeah. second definition 
a person who introduces and supports a proposal for legalization. Okay, that's a noun. Let's go to the verb. Okay, provides funds for project or activity being carried out. All these definitions, you can tell they all involve funds. Funds, 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 funds. Funds, funds, funds. Yes, that's a sponsor. You give, I give. Yes. So, let's go to dating. Dating an older man in specific who is termed as your sponsor. Dating is a stage of romantic relationships. Really, Ndubi. So, here is the definition of dating. Dating is a stage of romantic relationships in humans whereby two people socially meet with the aim of each accessing each other's suitability as a prospective partner in an intimate relationship. Are we there yet? These people will have dates on a regular basis and they may or not be having sexual relations. That is the whole point. Let me repeat that. These people will have dates on a regular basis and they may or may not have sexual relations. So, are you having a sponsor are you, or are you dating an older man? There is a difference. Giving you money for your hair, for your cosmetics, for your everything. It's good, girl, look beautiful. No one is judging you. But you're not dating this man because the sponsor only sees you when he wants you. But dating an older man is different. He might be providing all this what the sponsor is providing. But there's dating involved. There's feelings involved. This is a man you're with every single day of your life. Sponsor, me anakupigia simu na kwambia tupatane Thursday na Friday. Hizo ndio siku zako. So, wewe una jengo hizo days zako. So, get the difference between dating an older man and having a sponsor. Okay? Let's get to the video. So guys, the first yani the, the obvious, the obvious what the society has termed like a norm like if it was possible for you to hey, thank god it doesn't write on your forehead you know thank god it doesn't write on your forehead when people say some of these things so the norm of one of those assumptions is you're termed as a gold digger like purely you're in need for money you know like why i i don't i don't get why that is the norm or why that is always the first assumptions because there's always two sides of a coin like come on there's two sides of a coin i'm not saying it's not there it doesn't happen it's fine if she's a silver digger gold digger diamond digger whatever let her be you know this if that's her way to see another day in life then let her be but always remember guys there's always two sides of a coin so there's that side and there's this other side so whenever you see such couples please keep so that's that, that's one of the biggest assumptions that i've come across so the second one is some of us just <laughs> what did i say us <laughs> so the second assumption is maybe maybe it's just my fetish like is there anything wrong if i prefer your assumptions in your pocket or maybe you can just ask them you, you know something of the sort so you find some of these couples look for each other because they have fetishes yeah you know they have you you just want something you're craving for something it's like when a pregnant woman craves for no ile mawe ile mawe wana kulanga that thing exactly so it's like a craving so i wouldn't say if they're together because it's a fetish it's a bad thing so comment down below and let me know is a fetish negative or positive to you guys because really really then just let the world know guys on my comment section is it positive or negative let us know no, this is not the biggest this is the second biggest the second biggest assumption that guys would tend to just assume is you're with this guy because you just literally want some papers you're literally looking for a visa you know i said this on my previous video whereby you just get married to that person because you just 
feel like you just want to fly out and get the hell out of your country because you think where you're gonna go is going to be maybe greener pastures or you've had enough or you just want to go and start afresh somewhere else you know at, at times past can haunt you so nevertheless yes that's an assumption which is there which is happening but I still gonna say this again don't judge anyone you don't know what they are going through if it's a visa and they actually manage to get it let them do if you feel like you you want the same and you have go, go do what you gotta do you know and it's life it's life at times you gotta do what you gotta do okay but I'll end by saying it again these two sides of a coin okay so two sides of a coin two sides of a coin okay so don't put everyone in the same bracket mm-hmm mm -hmm. some people think that you're against your own race you know like you just don't you know like when you're in afghamali even the tiktok memes and all and all they're like mm, kenyan men romance mm negative like you know like it's just like you're against your race but oh, on my side I'm not against my race have you seen black men have you seen them have you seen them maybe there are those people who actually dislike their race but you know, it's two sides of a coin just ask them just go ahead and just find out but it's actually an assumption yes it's there I'm not here to say that any of these things that I'm saying are not happening. They are happening. But all I want to say is there's always two sides of the coin. Like there's, there's those percentage that are going there for that. And there's this other percentage which is actually genuine. You know, which is actually genuine. Oh my God, the dogs are the background. So some of you gave comments, some of you asked questions, of which I'm going to read through all. But I'm going to start with your comments, then I'm going to answer the questions. It's all about love, Han. Old, young, same race or not. If they are in love, that is what matters. That's my take. That's what my first, um, that was the first comment. The other one is, so my question, let me, let me not go to the second comment before I say what my question on Instagram was. So I asked, what is your take on interracial couples stroke dating an older man? Just like the title suggests, yeah? So the other one was, I totally support it. The older, the better, yeah. The other one is, love has no color or age. Sips wine. We all get in relationships for different reasons, but the question is, what are you there for? You know, what are you there for? Just like I say, the two sides of the coin, you might be there for love, you might be there for money. Like, it's 50-50, but people fall on both sides, okay? <laughs> Why am I talking like I'm British? Okay, guys, okay, that, that, that's a fake fucking accent, okay? So guys, People fall on any side. It depends what you got in that relationship for, as this comment said. Okay, so what gets one to settle down? We are already in the questions. Um, what, what gets one to settle down? So what I would say from, on my opinion, what gets one to settle down is, first of all, it's not age. No one needs perfection because no human is perfect, okay? No human is perfect. So no one out there is looking for perfection. So you have to find someone who you don't look cute together, okay? It's not about looking cute together. It's about where do you see yourself 10 years from now with that person? No, like it has to be about growth. It has to make impact in your life. It has to just bring about lots of change in between this journey because it's literally a journey and settling down might involve marriage, might involve engagement but let me just say this, marriage is the hardest unit in the world, you know, like it's the hardest unit in the world and for you to just overcome it, you, ne you need to go through that journey with the right person. So if you feel there's, there's just that person who will give you or who will bring out the best in you, 
who accept you as an individual those are some of the things which will result to you settling down because as a comfort comes about you find yourself just settling down without even realizing it because you know everything is just clicking and clicking and clicking that's it i would say about this question that what gets one to settle down because trust me if you settle down for the wrong reasons with the wrong person the journey will be short whereby it will be cut short and you'll have to start the journey all over again so foundation of settling down that is what i would say i hope i answered your question my biggest fear is losing control over myself and giving it to someone else so wow this is a hard one but don't lose control over yourself and give it to someone else because that's the moment it it gets to a point it feels like you're worshiping this person you know and being there with that person that other person should not also allow you to lose yourself if that other person really loves you because if even if you're married engaged dating you name it you remain an individual however much you two just come together and become one thing there's still a michelle behind you know there's still a brenda behind there's still a phoebe behind the, the there is still that lady behind you know so getting hooked up with someone else doesn't give doesn't make you or doesn't give you the right to just lose your whole self to that person so every single day you end up just finding yourself trying to please that person because you've already lost control of yourself so that is not really even a relationship because you'll be like you're protecting that person from leaving because you're not genuine you're not being yourself that's one thing because you've already lost yourself in that person so that means you're living the life of that other person you're not actually being you or leaving you you see so don't lose control over yourself and uh -huh. so it's all going to start by you being honest to yourself and then the honesty will just come along to your partner and then with this honesty you'll be able to bring this person into your life that means like your circle of friends the your small habits that you're really addicted to during that time you guys are dating so that process will just make you or make him or her you guys just get acquainted so to like you for who you are or what you are that's a good basis and with time he will always remind you you know like um change me quay because when too many anona you're losing yourself so he will not even allow yani that love he has for you he's not even allowed to let you lose yourself to him you get because he wants the same jockey he wants the same one Jiro he met that time so you losing him you losing yourself to him doesn't mean you love him more it just means there's something missing there was pretense to start with on the basis of this relationship so i hope i answered that question i feel like i went a bit off topic but i really hope i answered that question of my biggest fear is losing control over myself and giving it to someone else base it on honesty from the first day you guys meet acha ajwe weni nani acha afit kwa life yako usi change life yake is love involved you won't change each other you will just adapt to those situations just mend them a bit adjust them a bit but not change the person in this process you won't even you won't lose yourself because you're not you're being you you're not trying to change anyone or you're not trying to be changed yeah i hope i answered it i really hope i did so so here goes a question another question have you had a struggle with the maturity gap how his family took it wow so again uh have you had a struggle with the maturity gap and how his family took it so first of all for people who don't know me i'm michelle by the way <laughs> anyway for those who guys don't really 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 know me because this sounds like someone who really knows me we have uh an age gap with my hubby we have a really quite age gap with my hubby 
page trust me that has not been an issue yani that has been the least of our issues but this question is framed as have you had a struggle with the maturity gap hmm let me just change the maturity to the age gap because what you're trying to say is maturity comes with age i want to correct whoever just uh sent this question uh, maturity does not come with age some of the people out here have been forced to mature so fast because of the situations they've been in life or what they've come across in life so age has never come with maturity okay but i'm going to still answer your question um and the other part of that question was how his family took it honestly i was shook yeah like i was shook depending i was shook from the stories i've had out there and all but it was so different when i met them like it was so different when i met them their family just took me as he took me you know ah next question <laughs> next question how do you handle one how do you handle one that is married or divorced and obviously has to provide for the other wow that's a hard one because i've not been settled with a married man i don't know how to answer that or a divorced man for that but how do you handle that how do you handle one that is married or divorced first of all girl if he's married watch your lane if you have to be there watch your lane these wives are crazy they've built empires with these people she'll do anything to put you down so if it's possible just stay away from a married man stay away from a married man if he's divorced come on it's his divorce like it's it's way gone if he has to provide for the other one and you are not lacking like who are you to just like she she also contributed to this man's wealth or this man's lives maybe she's the one who molded this man to what you've gotten right now you know you'd never know just humble yourself and just be humble sit down if you're getting your portion of the share just calm your teeth down and let it be as long as that person as long as the other lady is not is not in the picture at all it's just maybe financial support for the kids and all but the heart is yours the home is yours you know just share share is caring <laughs> anyway i hope i can apply the same thing as i told you okay yeah so how does his side of the family treat you especially if he has kids from a relationship i already answered that before i got warm welcome from the family like it was awesome and so that is what i literally just came up with to top up on my first video on interracial couples guys thank you very much for watching thank you very much for the few questions that you guys just asked me on instagram and don't forget that to live to your fullest okay tomorrow is not certain look at what covid19 has done to us so look look now we are in the house look now live to your fullest okay so till next time thank you very much guys for clicking on this video and don't forget again subscribe if you haven't and let's grow together so till next time see you guys cheers